Okay, here we are. This is a 2014 Nissan Altima S 2.5. Uh, I don't think engine size really matters for this headlight aim procedure. But I searched the internet, the Nissan forms and everything, and could not find a, a definite for sure easy way to aim the headlights. Um, I accidentally found out just by poking around. So you can see right here, let's get the camera close enough, you can see where it has an aim of 1.2% and a low beam signal. So I'm like, well, there's got to be an adjuster around here somewhere. And sure enough, I finally found it. I've pulled this cover back right here. Of course, this is for the driver's side. Um, the, the hole in here, it turns out, I didn't have to pull this back. After I pulled it back, I found this out. But I figured I would leave it just for this video so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, your screwdriver, number two Phillips, by the way, will go down through this, which also goes down through this hole right here and down into a little wheel. I'm hoping I can light up so you can see it for the video. And, geez, come on now. There it is, okay. You can see the serrated edges on it. Whoa, let's get in focus, people, come on. Anyway, that's it right there. You'll see a little edge uh, body parts are in the way of this it's easier to see with the eye than it is with this camera but that little knurled piece right there is what is actually going to turn let me put the screwdriver in i went and purchased a really long screwdriver to make sure i would never have to take this apart again oh yeah yeah that's a long one <laughs> but anyway i'll pull it down through here since i have the panel off you will feel it fit right into where it goes. I should be able to show you the screwdriver actually in the connection here. Like I said, it's a little hard to see with the camera. You can see the serrated edges there. That's what the blade, the edges of the screwdriver, number two Phillips again, is going to turn. Let me uh, see if I can move it slightly. Ah. Don't have enough hands out here. But anyway, when you get the screwdriver down in there correctly, you'll be able to turn that. And it has to turn a lot. One turn of the screwdriver is only like one tenth of a turn of that wheel. Now, if you're in there uh, replacing the headlight bulb like I had to, uh, I won't. I decided to try some LEDs I had laying around, and that's why I'm having to adjust the aim. They're, they're entirely too low, which I have found to be very common. Uh, I put LEDs on my motorcycle and stuff. But anyway, you just turn the screwdriver here. Counterclockwise is turning the wheel clockwise as you look at the wheel, which is raising it up. And it takes a lot of turns. And it, but, it's, but it's very easy. Once you get it locked in there, turn it, turn it, turn it. Uh, I'm not messing with the passenger side light since the headlight still works. And it is aimed correctly. That way I have a gauge to go by. In case I run into problems or whatever, you know, I have that already ready to go. The passenger side one here, as you can see, there's the hole the screwdriver goes in. This has the electric power steering. So I don't want to take any of that stuff all apart. So with this extremely long screwdriver, I don't have to. You will feel it. It slides into a groove and it guides it right, it guides the head of the screwdriver right to where it needs to go. Now, doing it with two hands was a lot easier than doing it like this. But anyway, I just want you to see where the hole is to do this. I cannot believe I couldn't find not one other video to show doing this. So, I wanted to make sure somebody, if they needed to know, Anyway, you're going to have to feel around. Like I said, it's easier to do <laughs> when, uh, when you got both hands on it. But there's the hole for that one as well. Um, it goes down a pretty good ways there. Your screwdriver needs to be at least that long. The one I had was just barely make it, but the handle was rubbing up against the metal over here. 
and I didn't want to tear up the car or the screwdriver, so Harbor Freight Tools was nice enough to sell me two of these for four bucks. Hard to beat that price. This might be the only thing I ever use it for, but I don't care. The chances are once you have the tool, you're never going to need it again. But anyway, that, that's how you do it. Um, I'll put this panel back on. There's just two little clips holding it on anyway. And the next time I can just come through here. Probably going to take some trial and error to get this headlight aimed right. Like I said, some of these LEDs, even though they're an exact fit, <laughs> the LEDs don't sit quite exactly where they need to be when you have projector style headlights which I have come to not really like because if you have one of these cars 2013 and up body style you understand just how miserably poor these low beams are the H11's themselves are okay but it's that projector the H9 high beam is fine I'm gonna leave those alone until I need to do something with them I don't drive this car that much I use my motorcycles more than anything but anyway, I just wanted to show you, again, one more time, that hole right there on the driver's side and the hole right here on the passenger side this is where you aim the headlight. And you can only do the vertical. Horizontal, you're not going to mess with. Left to right, that is. You're not going to mess with. Um, when it gets dark, I will uh, I'll go ahead and see how the aim is compared to the factory one that I have not messed with but anyway that way will give me a good base and hopefully these LEDs were worth it I bought them a while back if they don't work out too good no problem I'll just put better halogens in and re-aim this side back to where it was and and that is that but I just wanted to put this video up for anyone wanting to know how to aim a headlight on one of these body styles alright have a good one